All right, mate, how you doing? Welcome back to another episode of The Wheel of Fortune. It's episode 21 of series three. We should be over the halfway mark now, based on series two form. I think we did it in around 36 or 38 episodes, uh, winning the Division One title. So hopefully, if we're gonna keep that form, we're over the halfway mark. We're certainly over the halfway mark in terms of divisions up in Division Three now, but will the wheel be good to us today? Let's go. Bang. Hope you had a lovely Christmas, guys. I'm wearing a nice relaxed number. Long-term fans of the channel will remember this from my series Once a Lie, and it's my England onesie. So we've got about 5,000 coins in the bank right now. What is the wheel going to give us? Is it going to be nice? Come on, keep the Christmas spirit flowing. And it's going to start with a challenge time. Not going to be easy. We're in a higher division now. These challenges get harder all the time. Let's see what it is. One, two, three, wash. Here we go. We're still waiting for a yellow challenge time. It's ridiculous. 21 episodes now. Right. Here we go. I've got one. And the challenge says... Oh, dear. It's from Joe Spence, uh, my namesake. Out of position. No players can play in their ordinary position. E.g. a centre-back can't play in defence, includes goalkeeper. Okay, so everyone has to be out of position for this next game. And obviously if I win the game by three goals or more, I get five packs. If I win the game by less than three goals, I get three packs. If I draw the game, I get nothing. If I lose the game, I lose my lowest performing player from the match. Joe Spence, you may have stitched me up here, pal. This is going to be difficult. Chemistry will be a struggle. Let's go. Okay, this is my team and it's probably going to be one of my toughest challenges ever. Not only have I got Pierre Mertesacker in goal, who yes, is massive at six foot six, but let's face it, he's not a goalkeeper. I've got a centre-back partnership of uh, Mikel and Kiate. Strong, but not that fast and obviously not centre-backs. I've got my fullbacks Ramsey and Schweinsteiger, who are actually centre mids. Alex Oxlade Chamberlain is playing the CDM role, which is a role he has played in real life for Arsenal, but in this game, obviously, he's a right midfielder. We've got Leighton Baines, the left back in Cam. He's got good stats for a Cam. 81 passing, that's what I'm looking for. He can actually bang one as well. I've got Gibbs and Mankillo on the wide of midfield. Obviously, they're fullbacks. And then I've got two right midfielders up front Townsend and Dadafuayu. I'm going for pace there, okay? So no striker in the starting 11. My substitute options, I've got Fellaini as a big man to come off the bench and go up front if we need him. I've got Giroud to have a go at centre-back if we need him. A few other options in there. I can't play anyone in their proper position. Chemistry-wise, we've got team chemistry of 56. Um, seven chemistry for Kiate and Mikel and Mankio and Gibbs. Everyone else is on a four. Not ideal, but if I win this, it'll be one of my best ever Wheel of Fortune victories. Let's do it. Okay, I'm up against uh, Mezke and Club. More than a club, I believe that means. 4-3-3 formation. Martial, Vardy and Mares, Kante, Eriksen, Dembele, Rose, Matip, Smalling, Valencia and Butland. And guess what? They're all playing in their proper position. Surprise, surprise. We have got our work cut out for us, guys. Let's go. Just play the simple game, boys. Simple passes. Leighton Baines is going to have a big game for us. I'm calling it now. Oh, no. How's he got in behind? You know what? It's because Kiate has got that high, high work rate. But, oh, what a tackle from Kiate in the end. Let's break. Nice little touch from Delafoyu. Bang. One, two. And I'm through with Delafoyu, who's got the pace. Oh, Delafoyu, come on. Get there, mate. Oh, mate. It's supposed to be fast. Oh, no. He's done me. He's done me. He's missed it. And Murtasaka has still not been tested in goal yet. We're going to go short to the Ox. Oxlade. Love that. Pulls it back. To John Obi. Mikel! Oh, what a goal from John Obi Mikel! No, it was Kiate! It was Kiate playing at centre back, but with a strike of a striker. Look at this hit, touched it, off the post, upper Benjamins. He's playing on bloody seven chemistry at centre back, and he can bang them. That's why I love Kiate. And that should mean even if we lose this game, we won't lose him because he's got a goal. We don't want to lose him because we like him in our Premier League team. Come on, boys, we can win this challenge. Okay, it's half time. It's one nil to us. We've done the most important thing, which is protect Murtasaka from having to face too many shots. Because let's face it, if they bang them on target, it's probably going to go in. Careful, boys. Careful. Oh, I love that. Who's that running back? Murtasaka just made that save, but it was, he made it look harder than it needed to. Fair play to him, though. The BFG. Look at this. The big friendly goalkeeper. Bang. Oh, what a save. Okay, 22 minutes left. Should I make a change? Who have I got? Happy with the defence. Uh, I could bring Promise on up front. I'm going to bring Promise on up front for Townsend. Bit of a different option up there. Also pacey though. He's a right midfielder, so I'm allowed to put him up front. Careful, boys. No! 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 
Oh, it's a shot on target, and that's all he really needs to do. It's Kante that scored it. One all now with 20 minutes left. Come on, boys. We can win this. We should win this. We deserve to. Oh, no. Could be in trouble here. He's got the pace over me. No. No! Oh, I can't believe he's done this to me. I can't believe he's done this to me. My defence was absolutely ripped to shreds. Two goals in five minutes. I'm 2-1 down now. I've been leading him the whole game. Mertesack has literally not even used his hands, has he? You can use your hands now, Pearl. You're in goal, mate. Got to go for this now. Good interception. Let's break. Gibbs, play the ball through the middle now. To De La Foyou. De La Foyou, I need something big from you, mate. What have you got in your locker? De La Foyou, keep going for me. Brilliant. Bang it, De La Foyou. Oh, it's just dribbled to the keeper. Too much pace for me right now. I think he brought some subs on, you know. They've changed the game for him. Oh, good save for Mertesacker. But that's not going to be enough. And in the end, Mertesacker in goal has cost me. I think if I had a proper goalkeeper in this, I would have won it. Oh, he's just rinsing me now. Oh, he's rinsing me now. They're all going in. It was going to happen eventually. Rashford's destroyed me. I'm gutted. I'm not going to lie because I thought I was going to win it. No more, boys. No more. Come on. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, just give away a penalty. Why don't you? Can Per Mertesacker save a penalty here against Riyad Mahrez? He's going to put it down the middle. I read that like a book, and Murtasaka saves a penalty. What were the chances of that? The final whistle has gone, though. We have lost, which is not ideal, because we've not been great in Division 3 so far, and we are going to lose a player because we failed the challenge. Worst rating went to Promes, actually, who I bought off the bench. Got a 5.9, so he's gone. See you later, Promes. Also, Chamberlain actually played a 9 in CDM. The goal was for Kiate. Chambo got the assist. So four games into Division 3, we've only got four points. We're not looking good, guys. And before we spin the wheel again, I need to quick sell Promes, who has left the club. Sorry, mate. Okay, spin number two. Let's hope the wheel's a little bit nicer to us. Bang. We've now got 7,822 coins. So it's not a bad amount. Uh, hopefully next game we can use a proper team. We need a win. We need two wins, really, from the rest of this episode, just to get us back in decent you know, position for Division 3 going forward. I wouldn't mind open 10 packs. Uh, just be nice, basically. Where is it going to be? Yellow challenge time? <gasps> oh, it, it is. It's actually... Oh, my God. Can you see how tight that is? It is actually just in the yellow challenge time, though. So I get to do my first yellow challenge. That's a non-FIFA challenge of the series. I'm excited. Let's see what it is. Bing, bang, boo. Oh, my God. Non-FIFA challenge. We've got loads in here because we haven't done one in bloody 21 episodes. Right. What is it? non FIFA challenge. Oh, okay. Well, technically, this sort of is a FIFA challenge, but the whole point of a non-FIFA challenge is it's something you don't do in the next game. So it's something you do before the game, and this is before the game. Uh, it's called the Wheel of Fortune Higher or Lower. It's sent in by Rory Ford. He says, as many packs as you like, so long as you can currently guess whether the pack you're opening is higher or lower. Right, so basically, I open a pack. And whoever the highest rated item in that pack is, let's say it's an 84, I'll guess whether the next pack will be higher or lower than that. If I get it right, I get to open another pack. And so on and so on. So this isn't really even a challenge. It's like an opportunity. Basically, if I open one pack and I get the higher or lower wrong in the second pack, I don't get to open any more. But I could get to open a whole load of packs here. This is actually a really nice challenge time for Rory Ford, which is, which is good considering the last challenge was really hard. So this could be unbelievable for us if we're any good at higher or lower. Let's find out. Okay, we're going to do it with these mega packs, right? So it's higher or lower from the first pack onwards. Let's open one, see who the highest rated player is. We'll do it on these guys. So left back's going to be a Leon, isn't it? 81 rated, okay. So do we think the next pack's going to be higher or lower than 81? So a quick look at who else we've got in that pack. Uh, oh, we've got a few decent 381 rated players, actually. We'll take all those boys. I like them a lot. Take some of this stuff as well. A couple of duplicates in there. Quick sell them. Okay, so we get to do one more pack now. 81, higher or lower. This is a big pack. I'm going to go higher. I think it's going to be higher. Please be right. Be higher than 81. So Cam, he's, he's Spanish. He's 81. What does that mean? What does that mean? Garcia. He wasn't higher or lower. I don't know what to do in this situation. He didn't put this in his rules when he tweeted me. I'm going to make an executive decision. I'm going to say I said higher and it wasn't higher, so I got it wrong. But because it, was a, it wasn't lower either, I'm going to give myself one more pack. But I can't play higher or lower anymore. I failed the challenge, uh, the first bloody pack. But I get to open one more because I didn't get it wrong either, if that makes sense. So that's how I'm going to justify it in my head. I'll open one more pack. And then the higher or lower challenge will be over. We'll still play higher or lower, see if we get it right anyway. Uh, Garcia Sismanovsky. 
Kondogbia, okay, Lingard, Deb, uh, Mitrovic, Burke, Larondo, Wallace, Torres. We'll take them all. We'll do one more pack, and it was 81 again. I'm going to say higher again, even though the game's over, just for practice. Is it higher than 81? Am I right this time? It's a cam. For oh, it's going to be Oscar. He's going to be 83, I think. Yeah. Oh, I got that one right, but I did fail the last one, so the game is over. Oscar's actually a duplicate as well. We've got Amrabat, Pereira, DeSanto. We'll take the managers, and we'll send the... Oh, we've got some good duplicates here. We'll send them all to the transfer list. Quick sell the rest, and we're done. Let's go to the next game. Okay, we're going to use my Premier League squad for this one. It's coming together nicely. We've got Vardy and Lukaku up top. Otamendi playing his first game in the Premier League squad after we got him recently in another challenge. Uh, yeah, we're going to go with... Dembele in there, Kante, Kiate plays his second game in a row. Hopefully he can score for his second game in a row. Let's play. Please win, boys. We need it. Okay, I'm up against WATP. He's got a couple of squad building players in there. Kurtzua and Deli Ali. He's got informed Dwight Gale and uh, Harry Kane and Lalana and Ericsson. Bloody hell. He's also got Butland, Koscielny, Smalling, Walker and Kante. It's a really nice Premier League team. A bit of a Tottenham vibe in there. I reckon he might be a Spurs fan. Let's go. Come on, lads. Silver on the corner here. Going to whip it in towards Lukaku. Who can win it? Oh, it's just on the roof of the net. The ball on there. If you can play it through the middle for Jamie Vardy, who's through and should be scoring here. Jamie Vardy, you've got to score that, Jamie. Well out. Again. Again. No, that's a penalty. It's going to be another penalty. Two games in a row, man. I saved the last one. Hopefully I can save it. Not. He sent him off. That is never a red card, and this could be turning into a relegation disaster for us in Division 3 here. I really didn't think that was a red card, ref. That was unnecessary. Uh, this game's going to be really difficult now. Keeper's going to stay in the middle. No. Oh, damn it. We're 1-0 down, and we've got 10 men. What a terrible few seconds for us. It's a misery compiler, really, isn't it? Run with it, Musa. Look for Lukaku. Lukaku, hold off your man. Finds David Silva. Silva, bang. Pavardi. Got to score this, Jamie. It's not acceptable. Jamie Vardy's had two one-on-ones. He's missed them both. I can't handle that. Cannot handle it. Oh, we're in all sorts of trouble here. He's going to score another one. He's missed it. Should be game over. We've actually had the same amount of chances at half-time. More possession, even though we've got less men. Why didn't he... Why did he not get rid of that? Why did... He, no. I can't handle that. I cannot handle that. Why has he done that? He's just passed it straight to him. I mean, I don't... I just don't get it. I just don't get it. We've got to go more attacking now. We've got to gamble. We can take Kante off. We're going to bring Depay on. Depay's going to go in that cam spot. And we're just going to commit. We're going to commit bodies forward. So disappointed that Vardy's missed those chances. Come on, Vardy. Make it up for me here. Come on, Jamie. Make it up to me. Vardy. Every time he makes that tackle, to be fair, he's quality at the back. I'm going to change things up here. I'm going to uh, look to bring on Mane. Come on, Mane. You've got this, Mane. You've got this. Into Vardy. Vardy. Oh, Mane. Someone. Bloody hit the ball. Oh, no, it's all over. It's another defeat. And I think we might be in a relegation battle. I don't think we're going to go up to Division 2 at the first time of asking. Luke Shaw was our best player. 7.8. Uh, obviously, no goals. Disappointing that Jamie Vardy didn't get on the score sheet with two big chances. So, with five games remaining, we've got four points. We can still go up. Uh, we have to pretty much win every single game. Now. I think we actually do. We have to win every game remaining. So, it's possible. If we win the next game, we give ourselves a glimmer of hope. But if the wheel doesn't look after us with this spin, that glimmer of hope will be gone. It needs to be a good one. Let's go. 12,335 coins now. We've got a good bit of coinage, but we're not in a good place in Division 3. I'm pretty disappointed with my form this, uh, this episode. Three losses in Division 3. Before I got into Division 3, I only lost five times in the whole series. So it's really gone down since we got into Division 3. And it's going to be a squad building challenge for the final spin. Let's take a look at what squad building challenges are available. Last time we did a squad building challenge, I think we did one of the Hybrid Nations one. We did quad and we passed it. So I can continue that progress by taking on sixes. Let's try this one. Six nationalities, exactly. Uh, no more than two players from the same nation. Overall rating minimum 79. Six rare players, exactly. And chemistry of 80. Okay, let's go with a Spanish striker. Let's go with Lorente. Have we got a Spanish left winger? We have. He'll do perfectly, right? So that's our two Spaniards. Let's go over right winger from the Premier League. We haven't got many of them, so let's try a right midfielder. Okay, we've got loads of these. Right, let's go with an Englishman. And let's go with Lennon. I'm not going to use Lennon. And let's maybe go with another one. Townsend wasn't very good for us. I'm going to go Lingard, actually. I'm not going to use Lingard. Let's go with a CM from the Premier League, but not English. Let's stick to four in there as a Belgian. Okay, we'll go Yanazai left mid because it's another Belgian. We're getting there. We need some more rares, though, don't we? I'm going to put Gazila in goal as a, as a rare. Then I'm going to put Murtasaka 
in centre back is another German. Let's try Nasri in there. Have we got a French centre back? We just need a French rare centre back. And we're good. Here we go. Uh, this guy can go in there. Bang. That makes it pass. That'll do. I'll take that. We'll just swap them for chemistry. Gets up to 96. I'll, I'll deal with that. Let's submit it. We passed it at least. Got a prime gold players pack. And we're halfway through the Hybrid Nations set as well. Right, let's open our reward. Be decent. Be decent. Who are you? It's going to be Begovic again. We've already got you, mate. We'll stick him on the transfer list. Herrera. Don't mind him. Schletto. Ellis Dondo. Dahoud. Escalante. Morales. Angela, we'll take them. We'll stick those two on the transfer list. We'll quick sell them and bang. It's time for a massive game, which we have to win, literally. Okay, for this game, I had to pick a strong squad. I'm going with my Syria squad. Been pretty decent so far. The midfield run the show. They score most of the goals. Pjanic mainly. He's got four goals in seven games and an assist. Brosovic had a great debut recently. It said he got two assists in the game. But it's actually only given him one in his record, which is a bit annoying. But even those stats look good, don't they? Goal and assist on your debut. Um, we've got some good players here. Let's get the win. Keep promotion dreams alive. Okay, my opponent is Milligan Town. He has got an unbelievable Urzil item. That's a player of the group stage with a hunter on it. He's got, oh my God, I've just seen his strike force. Aguero and bloody legend Burkamp. He's got inform Yaya, inform Milner. Koscielny, Smalling, Czech, Kante, Chan and Walker. That's one of the most ridiculous teams I've seen in this series. What a strike force. Aguero and Burkamp. Two of the best strikers ever to grace the Premier League. But he hasn't got Pjanic. He hasn't got Brozovic. He hasn't got Mertens, the Belgian. Let's go. Pjanic to Kadira. Kadira looking for Baka. Great first touch. Baka. Bang. Do we want to give to Mertens? Maybe. Here is Dries Mertens. He's not going to cut back. He thinks I'm going to. I'm going to put it inside. Oh, where was the boys? Where were they? Pjanic. Salah, little one, two. Make it a three, make it a four. Pjanic, touch, bang. That's what he does. I'm surprised he didn't go in. Genuinely shocked. Just realised Handanovic is making his debut in goal for us today. So welcome, Handanovic. Please do well for us. We need you. Pjanic to Kadira. Kadira into Brosovic. Brosovic looking for backer. Backer. Still backer. Still backer. Hit it. Brosovic, bang that. Oh my God. We've got to score these. Pjanic is going to whip the corner in. It's a decent ball. Hit it. Oh, it's off the line. I need more luck. Backer. There's the ball. Mertens. Bang that. Are you kidding me? I mean, I've been all over him in the first half, but still nil-nil. We've got to win this. Oh, no. He's going to score. Here comes the goal. Oh, my God. Handanovic, that's why we got you in. That's why we spent the big bucks on your son. Massive tackle from Koulibaly. Kadira finds Brosovic. Brosovic, bang, for Baka, hit it for me, Bosch! Thought that was it, genuinely thought that was it. Brosovic, still Kadira, Kadira, bang it for me, Sammy! Oh, Sammy Kadira, you don't expect him to be the one that pops up with the goal, but they, because he's got the good players around him, the defender was worried about me passing to Brosovic, to Pjanic, to Baka, he sat off Kadira, and Kadira can bang them on his day. So look at this, you actually see the moment when he backs off with Smalling, he backs off, too much space. Bosh. We need this win. Keep the dream alive. Koulibaly gets there like an absolute beast. Play it. Go on. He's off. He's onside. Backer to finish it for us. Bosh. No. Rebound. Yes. Come on. It's Brosovic again. Two games. Two goals for this guy since we packed him. The inform should be the points wrapped up. Look at this finish, by the way. He wasn't messing about. This is weak foot, you know. Ball into Mertens. Ah, oh, it's beautiful from Dries Mertens. Still Dries, pulls it in, Bosch! Mate, we should have had about eight goals this game, but it's all over. 2 0, I'll take it. Brosovic gets man of the match, I think, for his second time in a row, and he's only played twice for us. Uh, goal for him and Kadira, an assist for him again. So it's technically three assists and two goals in two games for Brosovic. I recommend him thoroughly. Look at that, 23 shots we had in that game. Finishing across the whole episode wasn't good enough. But we have now got seven points. I'm less worried about relegation, although it's still definitely not secure that we're going to stay in the league. Mathematically, we can still go up. We've just got to win all of our remaining four games, which means the wheel needs to be nice to us next episode. But that's it for this episode of The Wheel of Fortune, guys. I hope you've had a fantastic Christmas. Hope you've enjoyed your time with your family. Make the most of it. It only comes around once a year. If you've enjoyed this episode, please drop a like on the video. Subscribe for more. Check out my other channels, which you can see on the screen now. And of course, check out the last episode of The Wheel of Fortune if you missed it. It was a humdinger. I'll see you next time. Until then, don't go changing.